I'm City of Laurel Communications Director R.B. Barnes. Thank you so much for coming today. We are celebrating all of the wonderful Main Street businesses uh, here in Laurel. This event is the highlight of Economic Development Week, which is celebrated across the state of Maryland. The purpose of Maryland's Economic Development Week is really to focus attention on what makes our state such a great place to live, work, and play. Now I'd like to call up City Council President Mike Les to welcome you all to Laurel. I was reminded that Audrey is the director. So I'm going to say a few words. First of all, uh, welcome to Laurel. I want to recognize current council member Carl DeWalt with us. Yeah. Yeah. Council member Jimmy Cross. Mm -hmm. And former council member Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's all I have to introduce. Audrey's going to do the rest of all. On behalf of the mayor and city council, welcome to the city of Laurel. Thank you for coming to our historic Main Street area to help us celebrate MEDA's Maryland National Economic Development Week. The Maryland Economic Development Association is a nonprofit organization of economic development professionals. Established in 1961, MEDA members promote the economic well being of Maryland by working to improve the state's business climate and the professionalism of those in the field of economic development. MEDA created this week to highlight economic development in the state of Maryland. As we all know, economic development would not be possible without our business owners. We've got a lot of them here. So I want to recognize all of our business owners, too. <laughs> this business celebration today is to show appreciation to all of our businesses within the city for creating jobs, adding to our local economy, and providing good services and entertainment for our wonderful citizens who live in the city and the surrounding community. And with that, welcome to Laurel. to be joined this afternoon by the Secretary of Maryland's Department of Housing and Community Development, Mr. Kenneth Holt is with us today. Thank you for coming, Secretary Holt. <laughs> Secretary Holt is a former member of the Maryland General Assembly. His distinguished career includes 25 years at Morgan Stanley. He's also the Chairman and fi uh, Chief Financial Officer of a software development firm which was named the most innovative new startup company back in 2013. And arguably most important in his resume was, because it's also my alma mater, he's a University of Maryland College Park Terrapin alum. So thank you, Secretary Holt, for being with us today. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I bring greetings and congratulations from Governor Hogan and Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford. And um, I'm pleased to be back in Laurel. I lived here for four years <laughs> during my uh, college park years. I commuted and uh, lived on Gorman Road. So I know Laurel very, very well. It was a different uh, town back then. Um, and uh, I commend each and every one of you for the wonderful changes that have come to Laurel. Um, our department is uh, the Department of Housing and Community Development. So we provide financial assistance for the construction of multifamily housing and also mortgages for individuals looking to buy homes. But beyond that, in this community development role that we play, we provide a great deal of loan and grant capital to businesses that are just trying to get off the ground. We have some local government infrastructure money that um, is available to municipalities like Laurel um, that need uh, improvements, infrastructure improvements in general. And we have a, a neighborhood business works program that provides loans and sometimes some grants to businessmen and women um, who are just getting started and who are unable to go to the conventional uh, 
marketplace to borrow money. Um, that's sort of what our focus is, much like a bank. And um, But we, we have a lot of uh, mission-driven aspects uh, to our role, and, and uh, that is around addressing homelessness, addressing the needs of a community like Laurel that wants to improve its downtown and attract um, outside investors as well as merchants um, into the community and um, improve the quality of, of life for residents. Uh, the Main Street program is part, ooh, is, uh, <laughs> part of um, 42 uh, Main Street programs throughout uh, the nation. And in the state of Maryland, um, we consider this a mark of very special distinction. Um, we have over, let's say, the life of Main Street, which is now 20 years, this is the 20th anniversary celebration, have awarded um, approximately $500 million from state and private sector capital that's been leveraged through the Main Street. And, um, I think that Governor Hogan is particularly interested in providing significant capital for neighborhood revitalization. Um, we believe that uh, we have created about 10,000 jobs by supporting 2,800 businesses, both new businesses as well as businesses looking to expand. And um, it also has tied us into volunteers Many of you may be volunteers who have committed your time. Um, and uh, I, th I think the composite is that Maryland is seeing a kind of a resurgence, both in rural as well as urban Maryland, um, in the entire business sector. Some of it, don't, don't worry, that, that's my hook. <laughs> OK, you say no. Um, we, you know, there are significant problems in some of our urban areas like Baltimore City, and the governor has determined that he's going to make a regulatory climate that is very attractive, he's going to address tax reform, and he's going to invest actual capital into these communities. And so we have been designated, because of the bank-like structure of our department, really to be the source of this financing capital. And um, before I announce our uh, two Main Street uh, designees, I'm going to explain a little bit about Opportunity Zones, because I think for all of you um, who are in business, who are trying to attract capital and sort of get off the ground, um, this is a very interesting um, opportunity that the federal government has created. So in the Tax Reform Act of 2017, which was passed in December, uh, the federal government uh, required that states designate particular zones within their states that were low income and in need of an infusion of capital. Maryland designated 149 of these particular zones. Each county has an opportunity zone. Some of them have multiple. Baltimore City has 42. Uh, they were entitled to 166, so um, they have many opportunity zones because of low income. And um, so we tried to be very fair in recommending to the governor where we thought, A, there was a need for capital, and B, where we thought investors would prosper by virtue of investing their capital in those jurisdictions. Um, <clears throat> These zones were approved by the government, the federal government, and we have just launched um, a program that will be interactive. You can go online, um, and it's basically an information exchange where we are listing projects across the state and businesses. And these projects and businesses can self-upload into our website to let the investor community know that they are available and that they are interested in seeking capital. Investors must take realized capital gains and then invest in a qualified fund that they can create. The investor can create a qualified opportunity zone fund for further investment in a qualified business in an opportunity zone. Now, in Prince George's County, there are about 23, 
I believe. Um, in Howard County, there's only one because it's not really particularly a low-income area. Um, in Frederick County, there are a small handful. Um, so in, in these particular zones, a business or a project that the government may be setting up can attract private sector capital. It must go into the business as an equity investment. And as long as this realized gain stays in the business investment, there is a um, deferral of taxes on that gain. After seven years, 15% of the tax is com of the tax liability is completely exempt. And at the end of seven years, the remaining tax liability has to be paid. However, at the end of 10 years invested in the business, if you sell your investment, the value of the investment is stepped up to the market value of the date of sale. And there is no tax on that excess. So effectively, if you were to invest in a business, let's say $10,000, and after 10 years, that investment were worth $100,000, and you liquidated the investment, the $90,000 gain would be non-taxable. That's a pretty big incentive for private sector capital to come into a community. So it's programs like Main Street, Opportunity Zones. We also have our Strategic Demolition Fund, our Community Legacy, and the press release went out today on our Community Legacy Awards. Um, Project Core in Baltimore City. Uh, we, we have an array of tools that are available to you through application, maybe through municipal applications or nonprofit applications that can really help um, your particular communities. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased really today to announce that the city of Laurel and um, the uh, town of Newmarket in Frederick County are the two new additions to our Main Street program. And if we can <laughs> tell you that in Frederick we now have I guess five main streets is that right and um, in Prince George's County this I believe is the first Ooh, so yes. so um, my deepest uh, compliments and congratulations and I know we have a council person from uh, Frederick County um, Sean is it Shane 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 is here to uh, talk a little bit about what New Market is doing, and uh, I know Mayor Mo is going to discuss the city of Laurel. So, um, congratulations, um, my compliments to each and every one of you, and we sure look forward to any kind of applications you want to submit for funding from the Department of Housing and Community Development. Great. Thank you for coming and sharing that wonderful news with us. We are so excited to be the first Prince George's County city to be named a Main Street Maryland city. And we are really looking forward to being on the MainStreetMaryland.org website. People can go on that website and click on it and see all the wonderful cities that have already been named Main Street. Uh, we are joining some very distinguished uh, company. Um, Annapolis, Ocean City, Westminster, a lot of great cities, so we're in good company. Thank you, Secretary Holt, for that, that tremendous honor. Um, we are joined this afternoon by another very ex distinguished guest. Uh, Mr. Jim Coleman is the president of the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. Now, as the leader of the corporation, he's responsible for trying to attract big-time employers here retain those employers in Prince George's County and create some high quality jobs in the county. His background includes 32 years at Oscar Mayer, he's worked for the Pepsi-Cola Company, uh, American Express, also you were a member of the New York State Senate as well. So please join me in welcoming Jim Coleman.
you all know, I started working when I was first born. <laughs> so, well, I want to say, first of all, about three and a half years ago, County Executive Sherman Baker invited me to come down to Prince George's County to be the new president and CEO and chief excitement officer of the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. So I wanted to hit the ground running. I did not want to go through a long process of buying a home and negotiating. I said, I just want to get a quick place to live a quick apartment. So I called this hot realtor. I found out from the chairman of the board, he said, call this guy at KW and they'll get you a great place. So the, I called the guy and he said, well, where do you want to live? I said, well, number one, I want to be where they've got a smart, innovative mayor. I also want to be where they've got a business friendly president, council president. I want to be where they've got a very enthusiastic director of communications. And I want to be where they've got an excited director of economic development. He said, I've got to take you to law. <laughs> Pretty much long. And we had 10 places for you to see that day. And we went over to 7830 Conti Road, the brand new Windsor apartments. It was beautiful. Everything was what he said. The mayor was great, the president of council, the director of communications, economic development. And the place is beautiful, business friendly, no crime, growing community, beautiful community. And I said, I'm ready to move in. They had a place. He said, what do you think? I said, right now, I don't want to see anything else. So it is a pleasure being a part of the community for the last three and a half years. And so you need to give yourselves a round of applause, right. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> on behalf of County Executive Bank, Prince George's County is on fire. As you know, he's wrapping up his eight years of being in office as our County Executive. By the way, today is his 60th birthday. So when you see, say happy birthday to County Executive Baker. <laughs> he deserves a great birthday cake for all the great things that have been going on in our county. We just created another 12,000 jobs just in the last 12 months. We have 22,000 jobs, high wage jobs in the county that we can't even find enough residents to take these high end jobs. You know, he's building a brand new hospital, $543 million hospital. That's gonna bring about 10,000 new jobs to the county. The, Mr. Holt, our secretary, was talking about the Opportunity Zone program on behalf of Mr. Holt and Governor Hogan. We have 26 Opportunity Zones in Prince George's County where we're probably going to get about 40 to $50 billion of private investment in our county over the next 10 years. Prince George's County is the place to be able to buy a beautiful home and to bring a business. But the, what's really driving it, what's the turbo engine behind Prince George's County success is Laurel. And you all are on fire as well. And we're excited today to be able to hear from Secretary Holt about the brand new Main Street program. I do want to let you know that we have a $50 million economic development incentive fund at the Economic Development Corporation to go in and helping any of our businesses, any of you that want to be a part of that so that we can include that in all the great things that the state is going to do with the Main Street program. We have a ton of different tax incentive programs in partnership with the state. The state's got an economic development incentive fund I just want to let you know that we are here and we're excited to celebrate the new Main Street program and we want to do everything in the world to help our business community here in Laurel to continue to create good job opportunities, high wage opportunities for all of our residents and to make our community here in Laurel to continue to thrive. So God bless you all. Thank you for this opportunity and let's keep Laurel on fire. Thank you all so much. That was great. Can I use that at my next performance with you? <laughs> you heard that, Mayor Mel. <laughs> and uh, Christian Pulley, the Director of Economic Development, and her staff who worked to put this event together. We want to congratulate them on all the good work that they do for us. So thank you for your kind words. We all really appreciate it. Um, now we'd like to hear from the man with the vision of what Laurel could be as we celebrate what Laurel has become. Mayor Craig A. Moe created the Main Street Economic Development Program back in 2012 to provide grants for businesses and property owners in Laurel. Those grants have enticed a variety of businesses to locate here on Main Street, and there is no doubt, Mayor Moe, that the program you created back then is part of the reason we are here today, celebrating Laurel with this important designation as a Main Street, Maryland city. So please join me in welcoming Mayor Craig A. Moe. Uh, 
Uh, good afternoon, and Jim, uh, for a minute there, I thought you were going to tell me you were living in New Market. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, congratulations to New Market as well. Uh, thank you all for attending today's uh, business appreciation celebration and designation ceremony of, of Main Street Maryland program. Achieving the Main Street designation was one of our economic development goals for the year. And today we're very pleased to have completed that goal. I'm very excited on the city being officially part of the program and we're eager to work with the state uh, for future economic growth in, in our community. This designation will help provide tremendous opportunities for revitalization and historical preservation efforts on Main Street and surrounding areas. Being part of the program will allow us technical support and training for city staff, eligibility to apply for more state grants, help in creating a revitalization plan. The revitalization plan area will focus on uh, design and historical preservation, organizational and community input, promotion and marketing, and continued sustainability of smart growth. Moreover, the city has several incentives that you heard about uh, to assist with economic development efforts for business and property owners, which include the Main Street Relocation Grant, up to $10,000 for uh, startup and relocation expenses is uh, available. Uh, the types of uh, eligible businesses that we're looking for is retail, is restaurants, health, yogurt, um, yogurt. Um, yoga? <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yoga, too. <laughs> and entertainment. Uh, we also have the Main Street uh, Storefront Facade grant that is available. Again, that's up to $5,000 to help uh, businesses with lighting, signage, and uh, masonry work, and others. All of this, um, we've also created the Route 1 uh, Commercial Corridor Program. This is to provide incentives for the redevelopment and revitalization along the Route 1 corridor. Uh, we created our own uh, City Community Redevelopment Authority, the CRA. Uh, the CRA works with businesses to support them, helps them to create economic development opportunities in the city, and by way of grants, loans, purchases of property, are just a few of those that the CRA has been working on. In fact, uh, well, right up the street, they purchased some property, and. Hopefully they'll have some announcements uh, forthcoming on that. The city is, uh, continues to work very hard to make Laurel a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Under the leadership of Ms. Pulley, our Director of Economic and Community Development, Christian's in the back, and her team that are all here today, um, I want to acknowledge and thank you all for the hard work uh, that you have done on economic development. <laughs> We want, I just, right, your boss is here, I want to acknowledge Amy. Um, she is the coordinator for the um, Main Street, did I get that right, Courtney? Um, I want to especially thank her, because I was told that uh, she really worked with our staff and, and uh, made the process easier for us to be here today. So I want to acknowledge that. Thank you for all of your efforts. <laughs> well, Secretary, thank you for being here, Jim, as always. Uh, Thank you for being here and all your support over the years. Uh, lastly, I want to acknowledge and thank all the business owners that are here today to celebrate with us and those that couldn't make it. Um, thank you for your hard work, your dedication, but most importantly for choosing Laurel to operate your business. And, uh, we thank you. All the business owners that are here today, uh, we do have a, um, a citation that we're going to provide everybody, business owners, for their appreciation. It is a certificate of appreciation uh, in celebration of uh, the Maryland Economic Development Week for your service in the Laurel community. And it's signed by myself and by uh, Christian. So please see uh, them in the back before you leave. Again, I want to thank everyone for being here, and I want to remind everybody, shop Laurel. <laughs> Um, 
We are so thankful to be able to shine this spotlight on Laurel today as we get this important designation. But as you heard Secretary Holt say, we're sharing today's honor with the town of Newmarket. And Councilman Shane Rossman is here to tell us about uh, how excited you are to have this important designation for your city. Absolutely. Thank you. So Newmarket is a really small town about 10 miles east of Frederick. Uh, it's one of those towns that you blink and you miss it. And um, we're excited to share this with you, you all, and thank you for having us here today. Um, the town is currently developing a large tourism-related uh, event, such as wine festivals. It features, that's gonna feature local uh, wineries. The Main Street designation will benefit our downtown by helping us to market one of Maryland's unique um, special Main Streets by giving us access to technical assistance and financial support from the state and, uh, and Frederick County Main Street Assistance Programs. The town is committing a large portion of its revenues to supporting uh, Main Street attractions, such as new businesses and shepherding them through the approval process. The town is uh, committed to staffing uh, for the program and funding town-sponsored events. We've already funded uh, 501C, uh, 501C3 committee development uh, corporation to help facilitate the Main Street activities. And we've also formed a green team and, um, and um, an events committee to help uh, usher in new, new things into New Market. Um, just to give you a little bit about New Market, where we've come from, um, like everybody, the recession hit us a couple years ago and, and we lost a lot of our businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, we've actually, uh, nobody could walk on our sidewalks. We had no lighting. Um, we were in really bad shape. Um, uh, and for a small town, that's, that's hard. Um, we're one of those towns that um, I carry many different placards. Uh, I flip from councilman to uh, trash picker upper uh, <laughs> to other things. So we don't have a big uh, community and a big uh, work staff like most uh, communities do. So this type of program, is going to be so great for New Market, and um, we've actually already seen. Um, we, we recently have been through the streetscape program. Uh, we now have lighting. We now have uh, walkable sidewalks. Uh, our infrastructure for our uh, sewer and um, uh, uh, stormwater management is phenomenal. There, uh, it rains now. We don't have to worry about anybody flooding or anything like that. So that's a great thing. Um, we've actually seen an influx of businesses come back to New Market. Uh, New Market is on the rise. Uh, we've actually run out of uh, places for businesses to come to. That's how. That's that's a terrible problem to have. So uh, so. Uh, with, with, with that, I was going to go around asking if they wanted to come to New Market. Um, but uh, you know, with programs like this, we couldn't be thankful enough to have it, uh, to have the funding and the assistance available to New Market. Uh, we are really appreciative, and we are in a great company, and thank you for hosting this today. On behalf of uh, the mayor and the rest of the council, thank you so much. Uh, we're about to cut the cake, which is always a highlight of any uh, you know, mid midday event. Uh, but I also want to add my thanks to uh, Amy Seitz from the Department of Housing and Community Development. Thank you, Amy. Um, Pam Rupp is the executive director of the Maryland Economic Development Association, and Maryland Economic Development Week is their baby. So, Pam, we're, 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 Pam, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's a, such a great event and a great week that we celebrate throughout Maryland. Also, uh, want to make sure that we recognize Susan Shepard uh, for her work. Thank you very much, Susan, um, from the Department of Housing and Community Development. So. I want to remind the business owners, don't forget to pick up your certificates. We have, and we also have gifts from everyone, for every one of you that attended today. So let's cut the cake. Don't forget, when you get a chance, go to MainStreetMaryland.org, check out all the cities that are there, and very soon you'll see Laurel and Newmarket. So, thank you guys for coming. I'm in real estate too. We have a small office down the street and maybe we have a good Mr. Coleman.